You are my sister. You're supposed to love me. And now here you are trying to give me the boot. For what? So you don't have to look at me anymore? Is that it? Sam. No, that is it, isn't it? Because if I disappear, that means you won't have to deal with that unnerving twinge of guilt you feel every time you look me in the eye now. Or maybe you're just afraid that one night I'm gonna get really drunk and I'm gonna tell Josh you've been in bed with the mob and lie to his face you for months. lower your voice. Or do I? See, I guess I see how it is now, Liv. It's, I cover your back, I break up with my girlfriend, I destroy my happiness, and then you tell me to get the hell out of town and go quietly? Sam, you know, I bet you all the dirty cash in your little handbag that if I went and told Mara right now the real truth, she would have me back. Maybe that's something I should consider, huh? Maybe I should clean this mess up once and for all myself. What's going on? I'm Sam. Olivia? Would somebody like to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, um... Sam's upset. He and Mara just broke up. Really? I'm sorry to hear that, Sam. I really am. Now, where's Mara? Is she okay? I spoke to her. She's she's crushed, but she's gonna she's gonna be fine. They're both gonna be fine. Yeah, people get betrayed every day. I'm sure she'll snap back eventually. What do you mean betrayed? Josh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm afraid I owe you an apology. I lied to your daughter. I've already apologized to her, but I guess I owe you one, too. Why did you lie? It's not important, not so much the lie, but just the fact that I did it. I violated her trust. I'm sorry. I need to go. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute now. When I walked in here, Sam was more than upset. He was furious at you. Now, maybe you should... Maybe you should tell me a little more about this lie. You know, the truth is, I, I don't know really what was going on with Sam. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You said you talked tomorrow. Well, yeah, but neither one of them was really eager to hand out details. Young love, you know, it comes, it goes, it hurts. What's wrong? I'm concerned about Mara. She's had a tough year. Sam was somebody she could really lean on, and maybe I should go talk to her. No, no. Uh, she's, she's in college, Josh. She's, she, she needs her father's shoulder. I'm sure she'll come looking for you. Mara. Mara. Say anything at all if you don't want to. Dad. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. He told me he lied to you. Did he hurt you? You just said, Dad. I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. I'm no. such an idiot. You are not an idiot, Mara. This is not your fault. I trust him. I swore after Tony that I wouldn't trust anyone. I, I just... 
I betrayed myself. I'm so weak. You are not weak. You're strong and you're brave, and that's one of the reasons you gave Sam a chance in the first place. But it seems like... But if someone is so great, but I, but I open myself up and I let them in and I finally begin to trust them, they let me down. You can't trust anybody but yourself. Can you honestly tell me I'm wrong? Yes, I can. You can trust me. You can trust your mom. You know that. No. Yeah. I just... I just thought that... Sam loved me too, you know, that... Enough to... You know, do something for me and you... For me? What do you mean? God, look at me. I'm such a mess. It's okay, sweetheart. It's all right. I'm supposed to be this grown-up Miss College student. But here I am. Crying in my daddy's arms. You know, this may sound a little selfish, but I really hope you never grow out of this. Professor Boudreaux's class in an hour. Yeah, yeah, he's the amazing one, right? <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Maybe that'll get your mind off of this. Yeah. See you, Dad. Okay. Thanks. What'd she say? much she's upset so it's gonna it's gonna get easier for her Josh just yeah day by day 